Hi, today we're going to be canning some sweet banana peppers. We got uh, some peppers here we harvested in mid-November, which for Chicago is really unbelievably late. I've never heard of anybody picking anything that late. We got the big bowl of banana peppers, as well as some bells and a whole bunch of habaneros and serranos. And so we are going to dice up all the sweet banana peppers here, just clean the seeds out and then as much as you can, keep them intact. If you could split them even lower, it's better. And then you make little rings. So we're gonna fill up a whole bowl of those. And I'm gonna add just a couple habaneros and serranos to these ones to add some heat to the jar. And then we have vinegar and sugar and some other spices we're gonna need and our pot's clean. So once these are done, we will take the clean uh, canning jars and shove them in there to see how many jars will be full. And then we'll do the math to see how much uh, broth we need to make to put in there. So take the peppers you have, go ahead and clean them up nice and put them in there and make sure you have all your canning material set to go, your picker and all that. And once I am done with the cutting, we'll pick back up and show you how to make the brine. So now we're gonna see how many jars we can fill hopefully two, and then we'll calculate. We have the big pot off to the left here, filled with water, been running for a while to bring it to a boil. We'll put a towel in the bottom, and then you, uh, which I think is supposed to help cushion the glass against the bottom maybe, and just knock it down the way it boils. And uh, then we'll show you how to boil up the broth, the sugar and spices that go in here. Quart jars. Uh, that matters because they're quart. You gotta cook them for 15 minutes in the boiling water, not 10 like the pint jars. All right. So we'll be back in a few minutes to make the juice. So we've got like two tablespoonfuls of salt. We need to add two cups of water. And then uh, it's a quart and a half of vinegar. So I'm gonna pour that out real quick. So we've already put in two cups of vinegar. We're gonna put in another quart, four cups of vinegar. So we have six cups of vinegar total, two cups of water, a couple spoonfuls of salt, uh, approximately two cloves full of garlic. And that's to taste. Obviously, you could put more in there for your preference. I'll probably put more. And then we need three nice heaping tablespoons regular white sugar. So we're going to bring this to a boil for several minutes, get it nice and mixed up, at which point if the water in the other pot is ready, we will take this and use the funnel, pour it into the jars, at which point we'll put the lids and the seals on and we'll put them in for our 15 minutes of boiling. We have our boiling vinegar stew and we're going to pour them in here. You can see we've got our funnel set up. You want to fill these really close to the top, within a quarter inch near the second thread here. You don't want a lot of air space. Wipe the rim clean so there's no 
uh, foreign materials like there's a piece of garlic there and any fluid so you get a good seal put just the cap down press firmly and then put the screw lid on just hand tight you don't need to really really tighten it down super hard so we have our Next move is we're going to take our jar holders and drop these into the pot of water over there that's boiling. Again, these are quarts, so we're going to do 15 minutes in the water bath. We got our jar grippers. Uh, put this into the boiling water. It needs to be a little bit over the top. This isn't quite deep enough, but the other jar should raise the water level enough. So we're going to let these guys cook for 15 minutes. Then once you take them out, it takes up to about a half hour for the seal to pop. You can usually audibly hear it, but we'll also show you how to kind of tap on it and tell if it's sealed if you didn't hear the pop. All right, it's time to pop these out. I'm just going to grab them with your grabber jar. Jar grabber. Let them drip a little. Put them down on a paper towel or regular towel because they're going to be super hot and again in about 15 to 30 minutes you should hear take that little bit off the lid an audible pop uh, but what we can do is come back you can kind of hear there's play they sort of pop now they shouldn't do that when they when they pop they'll become really taut and it'll be kind of solid and it won't have that play like that. That's the other way to tell if you don't hear the audible pop. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It was really awesome picking peppers in Chicago in the middle of November. And we've got a lot of these tucked away now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.